Hello, welcome. In this video, I'm going to make you understand the resistance and resistivity. First of all, let's have a look what does this resistance means. Say, suppose this is a wire. I'm considering this is also say considered as a wire, and this is a battery I'm connecting across it. This is positive and negative. Say the potential difference across this wire is say V. That is potential difference. And they say the current flowing through this wire is say I. That is the current flowing, flowing through this wire is say I. Now as per the Ohm's law, as per the Ohm's law, as you increase the potential difference, that is as you increase the value of your battery, that is the potential difference as you increase, the current passing through this wire will also increase. That is V is directly proportional to I. Now as you know that if you remove this proportionality sign, you need to put some constant. And here that constant terms is called as a resistance. Here that constant term is basically called as resistance, capital R. So basically then resistance becomes your V upon I. So this gives you a basic formula of a resistance, I is equals to V upon I. Now let's have a look what does this resistivity means. Now for that I need to make you understand what resistance depends upon what. So first of all let me tell you that resistance is directly proportional to the length of wire. As you increase the length of wire the resistance of that wire will increase. That is more resistance need to suffer uh, to the current and as you your resistance is inversely proportional to the area of cross section. This area of cross section so as you, this area of cross section increases as this wire becomes thick the resistance decreases. So it is inversely proportional to the area of cross, uh, uh, cross section. Together it becomes resistance proportional to L upon A, L is the length and area A is the area of cross section, this, becomes, this is your area of cross section. Now again if we remove this proportionality sign, here again comes up one constant term and that constant term that is rho is called as, this rho is nothing but your resistivity, here this rho is nothing but your resistivity. So now this total formula of resistivity will become R into A upon L. This gives you the value of resistivity of the wire. Let me to make you understand what, the, what is the difference between resistivity and the resistance of a wire. So resistivity is nothing but, so now if I make this value as 1 meter square and L as 1 meter, your rho becomes your R into 1 upon 1 your rho uh, uh, actually this magnitude is equals to the r and the uh, magnitude or uh, uh, si unit of this uh, rho becomes r is ohm into area meter square and length is meter so this meter meter cancel so si unit of rho is ohm meter so please uh, keep this in mind si unit of rho is rho meter and uh, it's basically its magnitude becomes r equals to the resistance of a wire if the area of cross section is 1 meter square and length is 1 meter. Just try to understand. Your resistivity is nothing but the resistance of a wire if your area of cross section is 1 meter square that is the area of this cross section of a wire is 1 meter square and the length of the wire is 1 meter. If that is the case then your resistivity is nothing but the resistance of a wire. And please keep this in mind that resistivity doesn't depend on area and length. Resistance depends on length and area but resistivity doesn't depend on length and area. It is a constant part. It is a constant part of this equation. So it doesn't depend on length and area. So please keep this in mind and otherwise uh, these are the basic things of your uh, physics electricity. Uh,